I've been using Android 11 beta here on my Pixel 2 XL and it has a lot of cool new features. If you have been using stock Android, then I'm sure you'll love this video because I'll be listing out 11 of my favorite hidden features of Android 11. Now I know some of you may already have these features on MIUI, One UI, Oxygen OS or some other customized version of Android, but all these features are new to stock Android. Hello everyone, I'm Aman Rashid and welcome to Gadgets360. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so that you are notified whenever a new video drops. With that said, let's get started. Let's kick off the list with a feature that I've been waiting for since 2014. I'm talking about native screen recording. So to access screen recording in Android 11, bring down the notification shade and swipe right to the last page. There it is, Android 11's native screen recorder. Just tap it to go ahead, enable microphone or screen touches if you want and tap start to begin. Next up, we have notification history. It keeps track of all notifications that you have received in the past 24 hours. It only works after you've enabled it for the first time, meaning it is turned off by default. Besides this, there's also another new addition called Bubbles. This is basically what Facebook Messenger does with chat heads. These are floating icons that appear on top of other apps. One last thing here is that you also get to set priority conversations in Android 11 which means whenever you receive a notification from a best friend or any close one, you can simply pin their contacts right at the top in the notification shade. This way notifications from priority conversations are always displayed up top. Android for the last few years has had the ability to watch YouTube or Netflix videos in picture-in-picture -picture mode. This means you can simply play the video in a small floating window on top of everything else in the UI. The good part is that now you also get the ability to resize it. Let's now talk about some visual changes. In Android 11, Google has introduced two new icon shapes. To check them out, long press on the home screen, tap styles and wallpapers, then tap style, then custom, and then hit tap to edit. Now keep on going next until you see the option choose shape. Here you'll notice there are two new additions. One is this shape which I'll call SpongeBob and the other one looks like a hexagon. It is now possible to pin your favorite apps on the share screen of Android 11. For example, if you prefer sharing websites from Chrome and you'd like to share it with your colleagues at work, for this you can pin Slack to be the first app that appears on the share screen. This way you no longer have to go searching for your favorite apps, just pin it. In Android 11's recent apps menu, at the bottom now exists a select button which lets you easily interact with whatever text is on the screen. Let me show you guys. For instance, when you tap the select button, you can now easily copy, search or share any text that is selectable without even having to open the app. App Suggestions in Android 11 presents you with a list of apps that you frequently use. To enable this feature, long press on the home screen, tap Home Settings and then tap Suggestions. Now enabling both of these options, you'll notice a list of suggested apps. These are apps that you use most and these suggestions keep on changing based on your app usage patterns. Dark mode is getting a pretty neat update in Android 11. Basically users will be able to schedule dark mode for a custom time. To do this, you go to settings, then display, then you tap dark theme and you tap schedule to set a custom time.
Since we are talking about scheduling, there's also an option to schedule do not disturb settings in Android 11, along with the ability to set which apps or people can interrupt you while DND is on. You can also schedule DND while you are sleeping, driving, or having an event. You can set the days, time, and even have custom settings for a particular schedule. While using Android 11 gesture navigation, you also get the ability to tweak the back gesture sensitivity. That too, you can adjust the sensitivity for each side of the display depending on your preference. The last one on the list will be the new screenshot interface in Android 11. When you take a screenshot, you'll notice that the screenshot interface looks very similar to how screenshots are done on iOS. So you'll notice the screenshot appears in the form of a thumbnail at the bottom. Tapping X directly saves it or you can tap the screenshot itself to start doodling on it, cropping it or sharing it with others. And these were some of the best hidden features in Android 11. If you think I missed something, you can let me know about that feature in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then smash the like button and share this video with others. As always, thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.